Hey there everyone, this is Robbie Fall and um, I'm just here before the video starts to uh, apologize for the sound quality of the video. Um, I have a pretty crappy mic right now as it is, a pretty crappy headset. Um, I'm just starting things out and uh, I want these videos to be of a higher quality so I've ordered a new headset um, with what I assume to be a much better mic on it. Um, so again, I apologize for the video quality in the upcoming video and the upcoming couple of videos, but I will be getting a new headset in a few weeks, so um, check back in and uh, hopefully the video, um, the, the quality on the video will be better, the sound quality rather. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Hello there everybody, I'm Robbie Fall and I am back with another episode of Time to Play, this time the Life is Strange edition. Uh, so I'm going to be playing a game called Life is Strange, which you can clearly see by my screen, I'm sure. Um, it is a game that's not exactly new, but it's recent. It was released by Square Enix a little while back, or Square Enix, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I've heard it multiple different ways, so I'm not going to nitpick. But um, it's apparently, uh, from what I hear, very similar to Telltale games. Um, it's one of those games where there's a lot of decision-making to be had, um, you know, a lot of character-driven story moments. Not really your typical first-person shooter, action-packed sort of a thing, but it's a game that I've really been interested in playing, and uh, I haven't gotten around to it until now. I figured it'd be a fun game to stream, a uh, fun game to go through with uh, all you folks watching, either on Twitch or on YouTube, uh, either or. Um, and so I know the episode 5, I, I think that's the closing episode, the final episode of Life is Strange, which is apparently released in episodic entries. Um, I know that's coming out soon, so I wanted to get through uh, these first four episodes uh, so that I'd be ready for the fifth one to release sometime in October, I believe it's supposed to be releasing. So, um, I guess I will be starting a new game now. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the coming video. So let's get started with a new game. I am really excited for this. I, I don't really know much of what to expect. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. See? In so many words, what I already said. Spooky lightning. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's me. I'm a teenage girl. Great. Guess is as good as mine. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. It's always a lighthouse. Well, let's get a move on. The lighthouse is this way, according to this very conveniently placed sign. I don't know, I wouldn't be too sure the lighthouse is safe. For anyone who's played Alan Wake, you know that the opening dream sequence with a, life out, with a lighthouse, it wasn't very safe. We'll have to see what happens here. I like the, uh, the style of this game. That, that is not just a storm, that is a tornado. That is quite the fierce tornado. I don't even know how I'm standing upright. But yeah, the game is very stylized. I like it. I like it. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit is right. Hi there, Just2 the Gamer. Welcome to my stream. I'm Robbie Fall, and this is time to play Life is Strange, as you can tell by the title. Oh! Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, 
Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> Bueller. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Oh my. Keep... Look at this crap. Oh. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Oh, don't be scared. You, you can do whatever you want to do in life. You can... Ah, oh, yeah, Mean Girls is right. You can show people pictures. Who cares? Who cares if they make fun of you? You're going to be the one laughing when you grow up to be their boss someday and a manager in photography and graphic imaging because everybody knows everybody wants to go in that field someday. Not to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you oh. in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. So how do I look? Isn't that too easy? How do I look? Too obvious? What if our oh, okay. to capture people at the height? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like she it old school. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I Thanks, Just to the Gamer. Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. I always appreciate a follow. Captured the essence of post-war beat. Look at this crap. Oh, I already looked at that. How can it's I show apparently it to crap. Jefferson. And there was honesty. I can hear the class laughing. At I should bless it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily <laughs> selfie quota. Which explains why Frank. Well, thank you. Photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers uh, of the 1950s. See. Well, we've all seen that. If anybody else looked at this. What would they think? Why do you have to be so down on yourself, girl whose name I'm not aware of yet? October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. Everybody loves that guy. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred. Didn't know that existed. Before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party? What? Or is that backstroke fest? You so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Let's see, is there anything? Oh, okay, so there's a lot of pages here, huh? Sam is her name. Okay, great. Awesome. So... Sam. Nice journal you got here, Sam. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one, but who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry! Thanks for playing! It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a new laptop. You go, girl. You get that laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Yes, because caps make everything more real. They make everything just that much more realistic, I guess. I don't know the word I'm looking for. There's another word I'm looking for to put in there, but maybe I'll just edit this out and put it in there later. Uh, I'm sorry to anyone who, I, um, who I'm boring with reading these. I like to experience my games um, in full, so I like to read all this stuff, even though it's you know side stuff that I'm sure I don't have to read. But uh, August 18th, 2013, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school closest to home. 
I suppose I am too, I just haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her when we would watch, I'm sorry, when we would play pirates in our room and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. Apparently, she hearts Seattle, as you can see by the bottom left corner. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Oh, dear. Ah, pun. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. I should do voice acting. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It means a lot. I've always wanted to go into that field, never had a real opening, but, uh, hey, I just started a YouTube channel and a Twitch, uh, account, so maybe this will go somewhere. August 25th, 2013, shit is crazy with a K here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap, which is usually when that happens. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited, I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts, as moms often do when they said their send their kids away to school. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. An old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from, no, artiste, it's got an E at the end, from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down, in my, down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Woo! I, I look like a YouTube? Well, thanks, I guess. I don't know what a YouTube looks like, but hopefully, apparently, it looks like this. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Woo! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos, wall o photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though. I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into new schools and social scenes after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, 2013. Blackwell sucks ass. That's a, that's a big change in art. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor, which is often what I do. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa, and how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, and titled, I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm being as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. What do I what do I eat? <laughs> food. Generally food. But thanks for asking. I <laughs> usually just what everybody else eats. Uh, so that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. I don't want this day to end. All woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. 
September 4th, I have... <laughs> I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. Who writes noobs in a journal? No, you know what? I'm not one to judge. You can write noobs in your journal if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. I'm perfectly okay with it. Give, at least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. And he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. Chicks dig that. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend, or both. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought, yeah, you don't really stop dealing with that until, like, after college, unfortunately. But at least I got to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip. Just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god. Sorry. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. Or am I? This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th, homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guest of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to, Bla to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk and started texting, and the teacher didn't say, Jack, I'd get suspended. But him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get, a, so they get their own way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. All right, last page, folks. Thank you for bearing with me. Uh, my YouTube channel is also called Robbie Fall, but it's separated by, two space, uh, by a space. So just Robbie, R-O-B-B-Y, F as in Frank, A-U-L. Um, there's a space in between the two of them. So uh, you can look it up that way. I have a uh, series on there about Soma, the uh, new horror game from Frictional Games. Thank you for asking. So for anyone else who's watching this and wants to um, you know, know what my YouTube channel is, that's it. If you aren't already watching on YouTube, of course. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity, which is always good. San Francisco is nice. Publicity is good, too. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. Of course. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics, so even boneheads like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoided? How are you avoiding? Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today. All right, so that was it. Let's uh, back it out. Oh, okay, all right, that was the prologue diary? Okay, I guess there's a prologue diary, and then there's, ooh, my name is Max Caulfield. Oh. Oh, so her name isn't Sam. It's Max, I think. Maybe. And 
Ever since I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to an old analog camera gear, to old analog camera gear, rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors, on a scholarship even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult. Even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. I heart Seattle. Say cheese. Mr. Jefferson, OMG, he's so hot, I want to marry him. No, just kidding. That's that's Max talking, people, not me. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco, deco, and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof, and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. Sounds about right. When I, but I do think he is preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. <laughs> yes, he's got, he's got the hair and the sexy hipster glasses. He is, he is a, uh, he's a dreamboat. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go back. Kate. Is this the Kate that, uh, this is the, the jerk Kate? I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really, oh, this is the really sweet and nice Kate. Even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign, even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. True love waits. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Seems the type. <laughs> Uh, Victoria's the jerk. Yes. All right. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite Blackwell Academy and total bitch. Oh, the elite of Blackwell Academy and total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. Ooh, hey, F-bomb, language, young lady. 18 years old at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars. Not always. Not really, I'm sorry, not reality show contestants. Victoria doesn't, I am having a hard time with this. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she doesn't know art and photography. She can even say, oh, she does know art and photography. She does, she does. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her word is a little cold. Work is a little cold. <laughs> but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. Oh yeah, Mr. Jefferson. All right, um, she does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can tell, all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! All right, that's it. That's everything, I think. Yeah, everything. There's a bunch of pictures here. Those are cool. Nice. Pictures. 
More pictures. Okay. SMS. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Oh, dad. Uh, always. Wait, oh, what's this? What's this? These are all texts. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Tt well. Okay, bye. Mom, happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. XO, hugs, kisses. Warren, make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust it up. Wait, I have to study for physics tests, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. You, you're so funny. You got your mm, comedy gold, you. Don't ignore this message. <laughs> Iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? <laughs> oh, I dig. I dig. Contrast I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Like Cocteau, he was a take a selfie. Why not? Let me take a selfie. Self portraits are famous. <laughs> Early examples of that truly awful word. You pet. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been oh, popular yeah. since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Ha <laughs> ha! I couldn't. Oh. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Seguer was a French painter who called oh, you bitch. types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh my god, I want to kill her. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Oh, no, I'm out of here. Guys, don't forget to See ya. submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I'm a shy teenage girl. All right, here we go. Get into the nitty gritty, the gameplay. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. No, she does not. You think it, I think it, you say it. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Because apparently they're all preppy, clicky kids. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Green lit. Really? That's better equipment than Blackwell? Because it looks like someone, some toddler just drew it with a crayon. I'm pretty sure she just got jibbed $5,299 for a drawing that a toddler made. But all right, if she wants to buy it, that's, you know, that's, that's up to her. With all the speed and power expected from the new Greenlit, the GRLT64S is packed with all the new Crayola colors and expendable. No, we're just going to work. We're done. We're done with that. That's a kid's drawing. That's not a camera. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Hey, but it's cool. Being a nerd's a good thing. I'm a nerd. I'm sitting here playing your video game. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, 
It was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. <laughs> fairly fucking cool. Just fairly. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Oh, Mr. Jefferson. Sorry. I got I got lost in the thought of him. <laughs> I look like a singer. Why, thank you. <laughs> that printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I suppose that is a compliment. Um, and I, I actually did used to sing. So that's, uh, that's a little fun fact for anyone watching. Used to be in a band in my high school days. Or right afterwards. Looks Let's like use somebody the computer. was already working on this. Cool. Nice. Nice. You see the, the nice contrast and colors and, you know, it's all edited with f more photography lingo. I know nothing about photography. I'm sorry. I should shut up right Looks now. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Oh, wait. I already oh. used it. Can I? So. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Bank. They did. They spent a whole bank on the computers. Kate, let's talk. Hey, what's wrong with you? What's going on? You okay? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. I think she needs a friend. She needs a buddy. Let's talk. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Hi. I hope I didn't embarrass you. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Oh. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Please do oh. not spoil this, because I am, uh, I'm very interested in seeing what happens, and, uh, I am recording this for YouTube as well, so I want to put that up there. I don't want it spoiled for anyone watching my series there. Um, so I really do appreciate if you don't spoil it, anyone who's, you know, commenting on this. Ooh, paper ball. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Oh. Purge. That is awful. And she's an abstinent, like, God-loving kid, too, so that's even worse. Kids are terrible. Kids are just terrible. Episode 5 isn't out yet, um, so that's actually why I'm playing through this. Um, I'm playing through this to get ready for episode 5, because it, I, I heard it was coming out soon, and I hadn't played the other uh, episodes, so... Uh, <laughs> do, 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 macro eyes. Oh, a new follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, what else can we do here? Oh, we could talk to Mr. Jefferson. I'm sorry, I got lost in his eyes. Or Victoria. Mm, Victoria. Thank you, Striker1940. I appreciate it. I just, uh, I just saw you following me. There's a delay in the stream, but thank you so much for that. Let's look at him. Just, just ridiculous. look at him. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Mm, just look at that man. And his glasses and his perfect hair and his chiseled jaw. Damn it! He's a good-looking gentleman, and I'm going to speak to him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Yeah! I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. <laughs> Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. Damn right. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Awesome. He is an inspirational man, and I like him. I'm gonna look at him again. Just look at him. This is ridiculous. Just look at him. I'm so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Look at her. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Cause she probably is. She's a cold-hearted jerk face. A real jerky jerk. Whoa. I don't Mr. like her. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid twenty grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. 
that's a bit excessive. But hey, you know, if it's uh, something you're passionate about, I guess uh, no price is too great and all that. You can never escape the lighthouse here. You can, ooh, the lighthouse, the mysterious lighthouse from the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm, foreshadowing, or backwards, backwards foreshadowing. Anyway, what's this picture? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. That probably means it's a mysterious forest. It looks like a mysterious forest, it probably is one. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Yeah. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Oh, I trust the teacher. He's got he's got a look of trust in his eyes. Just look at those eyes. Oh my god, look at those eyes. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go to the door. Oh, did you see that? Even Max looked backwards. She couldn't help but just look at one last glance. I was about to. Welcome you always to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh god, high school. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. You and me I both, sister. My face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Oh, this brings back some memories. She's so fucking shy. <laughs> God. Kids, high school kids are just so terrible. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it. Nice musical interlude. All right, I'm done. You like my little dance? I hope you did. I enjoyed it. Let's get to walking. Look at him. Let's look at him. Look at him. He doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Can I look at Alyssa? Ooh, look at her. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I'm digging this music. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Teachers. American girls. I think his name is Justin. Hey, Dana. Dana Are you a jerk too? too? She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. <laughs> I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yeah, don't be catty. If she's if she's beautiful and nice, then good for her. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. To all of you, American girls in the Just getting to know my surroundings. She seems like his type. But Warren likes you, so... Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Oh, but we can, you and me together. And he's a Vortex Club member. Time to lay the smack down on Logan. Oh, it'll come. It'll happen. Believe me. Gun-free zone. Really? We we have to worry about that here. Apparently, missing person poster. It looks like she's been gone for months. Tattoo of on calf of a dragon and a star on the side of the left wrist. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sure that'll come into play later. I wish October would last forever. Halloween party. Funny enough, October's coming up. Don't need a PC. Missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Well, then I guess we're good. That's so messed up. I should contact him to find out what I can do. As if I am. Save Arcadia Bay. Over the past decade, climate change has altered Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry. <gasps> oh no! Especially in Arcadia Bay! Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. An admirable goal. Missing poster. We've seen that one, but let's see what she has to say about it. Good thing I left my AK at home. Yeah, right? 
it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. It'd be great. I would, I would visit vending machines a whole lot more. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Unless you have too many ghosts and skeletons in the hall, then, then you have too many. Hello, kindly older woman, Miss Grant. She's the hip, the hip teacher. Grant is a great science teacher. She's a hip science teacher. No, we've already seen that. Principal's office. Ugh. The principal doesn't come out of his office much. He's, he's a mysterious one. He's Ray Wells. Keep an eye on him, folks. How many students ever cows, 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 cows. I guess we all should be. Left the mouse button. No, we don't want to do that yet. Yeah. I'm supposed to go to the bathroom. Come see the light. Go Bigfoot! Oh, that's our mascot! Awesome! Bigfoot, stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Oh. Right. Hayden. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. Ugh. But he's actually not an ass. Look at this Vortex Club poster. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame! Lame. Oh yeah. See, we're on the same page, you and I, Max. We are on the same page. Let's join the chess team. Alert, alert. This poster has one written all over it. Alright. That's the bathroom, so that's where we have to eventually go. Who are you? Come back, I wanna look at you. No, I'm not allowed to look at you apparently. It's forbidden! Alright. Zachary and Juliet. They're into each other. Get another Vortex Club disciple way into each other. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. <gasps> They're holding hands! PDA alert! Just gonna keep on moving. I didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. They will someday, Max. Just you wait. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll get that skater boy of yours someday, Max. You can really learn a lot about a school and a weird shit post on the boards. Um, are you, are you asking what other games I play? Um, I play everything, in all honesty. Um, you name a game, I probably, uh, a, a mainstream-ish game. They do stomp. Um, I probably played it. Um, or I probably want to have played it. I have over 250 games in my Steam library and uh, a couple more on Xbox One. Uh, but I don't stream any of those really. Um, but I, I just recently started this Twitch and uh, this Twitch and YouTube channel of mine. So I'm hoping to start finishing a lot more of the games that I haven't finished yet and uh, share them with all you lovely people here on Twitch and over on YouTube. So, let's enter the bathroom and see what happens. Probably just gonna go to the bathroom, but... Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Uh-oh, she's gonna have a meltdown. That's not a good thing. Just wash your face off. Come on. Put some water in your face, just calm down, Max. All gonna be okay. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. You do. Fuck it. Oh, come on. Girl. Shouldn't have ripped that picture up. A window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl. You don't get a photo op like this every day. I wish I was Spider-Man. Let's take a picture of that beautiful butterfly on a bucket. My god, it's gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm, just look at it. Whoa, 
Where did that butterfly come from? Now take a photo it doesn't of it. Doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Now it's gone, fluttering off in the wind of the bathroom. It's, it's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I want it, I could blow it up. You're the boss. That doesn't sound good. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Hella cash. Who, poor little rich kid? I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. That's not gonna end well. Ooh. Or who you're messing around with. I was right. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Don't Nobody do it, man. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No! That is not good. That is okay. What the fuck? That was nice. How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Then we went back in time. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. And I'm gonna know the answer to the question. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I can do it! Because of her images of hopeless. I can reverse the times! Apparently I have superpowers now! I did it! Now, I actually did it! Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. Oh god. The Anybody? things I could do with that. Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why with this? great power because comes great responsibility. Ah, Spider-Man reference, you get it? That was, yeah, it was, I thought it was funny. I, th I thought it was kind of funny. ask me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, So let's take a selfie. any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. Two selfies in one day, wow. And any one of you could do that to me. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max... Has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always yes, been you can. And photography I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Oh, I can't wait to show this girl up. Oh, but I can't. But I wanted. I wanted to. I want. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, who shit. knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Let's rewind time. Let's do it. We're gonna we're just style like a mirror. Just go come on. Totally just do the thing. Do Shh, shh. Sure, sure. Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Make so let's rewind and do what I wanted to do originally, but you something that you wouldn't let me do. Old shift. Ooh, we can go way back. 
Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Oh, yeah, I can. The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Damn right I have. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made ha! the future Shut you up! Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. <laughs> you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Oh, way ahead. Forget the deadline to Does that mean I get to stay after class with you? Contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Get it Ava, together, Stella. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, I see you all right. Max. Those gorgeous, crazy. beautiful baby blues. I'm not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. All right. Oh, oh, not what I wanted to do. Alright. I'm just gonna speak with him. I'm gonna look at him. I wish I could oh my god. About what's going on. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never oh, yeah. let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yes. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. No, oh my God, he's so deep. He's a damn poet. Mmm, Mr. Jefferson. All right, moving on. Uh, uh, so... So I can quickly undo my... Why do I even need to do that? Was what I did bad? I just worked so All right, well, let's, uh, I'm sure you let's go. Like to be consumed by your work. I see oh. you, Max Caulfield. Oh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess what I said was wrong. I guess... I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. John Lennon's. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. <laughs> all the answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Damn right. I have faith in you. <laughs> awesome. That I totally freaked him out. Let's open this door. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Let's I can't jog. A steady jog. Crazy. Go, go, go. Hurry! Time is of the essence! Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Save him! Save her! What are you doing? Save someone! Ring the fire bell! Oh, sorry, it's happening Just again. do it! Can I do it? To break oh, uh oh, uh oh, um. Nobody would Looks like Samuel forgot to take the cleaning cart out of here. Crap, uh. I wasn't fast enough, folks. I couldn't save her. Alright, let's try this again. Boop. Okay. Move. Quickly. Go. Get the hammer. Take it. Pick it up. Nobody Break the thing! Go! Oh. No way! Kick him right in the nuts! There you go. You might want to take his gun or something. Another shitty day. 
He's gonna chase her with a gun. That not happen. This okay. cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? You a superhero now? Freak out. If there was ever a time to freak out, this would probably be a good one. I will give her that. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Huh? No! Hey, Mr. Madsen, the situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Don't fisk me. Please. You scare the crap out of me, Mr. Security Man. Alright, so folks, um, for my YouTube viewers, I'm just going to um, put a little break in here to uh, say that I'm going to end this episode. This is going to be my first episode here. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and uh, supporting my channel. Um, just uh, like, subscribe, and comment uh, in the comments below. I would appreciate any feedback you have for me. Uh, as for my Twitch viewers, I'll be continuing in a moment. But thanks again to everyone watching this on any medium, whether it be a Twitch, YouTube, or anything else. Um, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch and uh, experience this game with me. Again, this is Life is Strange, and this is Time to Play with Robbie Fall. Take care.